Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Madden 18. It's my rebuilding the Cleveland Browns playthrough. Here we are back at home to take on the Titans in the AFC Championship game. The winner of this matchup represents the AFC in the Super Bowl. The loser of this matchup goes home with their tail between their legs thinking about what may have been. I'm sure the big question on all of your minds right now what happened to Duke Johnson Jr. after the last episode? Well, on your screen right now is what happened to Duke Johnson Jr. after the last episode. Unfortunately, he was going to be out for the rest of the playoffs. We had to go ahead and put him on injured reserve. Very, very disappointed in that, man. That stinks so much. He did so well the entire season. Then he got hurt. Comes back for the playoffs, makes some big plays, and injures himself pass blocking or something like that. So now we have Kristen Michael as our starting running back. I signed another running back, a third stringer, uh, to be on our team. He's actually another Texas A&M running back. And the reason why I signed him is because he had 90-something speed, 90-something agility, 90-something acceleration. He's a fast running back, which is why I think we need. It's why I like to do here with my offense. And wide open is going to be Mr. Davion Wilson there. Good catch, my man. So we don't have snow here today, which is unlike Cleveland. Uh, you would think that we would have some bad weather here, but we're actually pretty good. Ooh, dropping people back, are you? There we go. Oh, okay. Fumble! And they actually got it. Wow! Okay, so that's like the worst way we could have possibly started off this game. We are now down 14 to nothing, just like that, because Kristen Michael fumbles in his first game back as the starter. What's that free safety want to do? He's dropping back. Okay, we're going for the actual run here. I believe in you. I be oh, this is Darius. Never mind. We got Darius Jackson in here. I was going to say, I believe in you, Kristen, but now it's Darius going downfield. All right, my man. Turf toe. Turf toe. You're sitting on the bench because of Turf Toe? That's okay. That's okay. Turf Toe is a silent killer in the NFL. It really is, especially for big men. But for running backs, ah, oh, that stinks. So it's a good thing I signed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show him. <laughs> All right, so this is my new running back. His name is Trey Williams, again, from Texas A&M. You may think, wow, Nero, at 55 overall, look at the speed, look at the agility, look at the acceleration. That's what we need out of my running backs. I don't care about his awareness and his trucking and all that. He's a fast guy, and that's all I need. But, um, yeah, so we're down to my third string running back being a starter and my fourth string running back now being the backup. And just to make it so, let's go ahead and put Trey Williams in there as my third string running back, or my third down running back, rather, um, just so we have him there. Okay, we're going to go for a counter here outside. There we go. The blocks were there on the right side. Unfortunately, not on the left side. It's now it's second and 14. We're going to see about taking a shot downfield. They're bumping up the free safety to cover Olsen there. So the linebacker is going back to help. All right, so we're going to scramble. I see how open he is. We're just going to leave him be. We're just going to leave him be. And we're going to scramble. Late hit. Let me guess. Holding on me. If I know the NFL playoffs, it's holding on us somehow. Hey, you don't touch the NFL MVP. You're not allowed to touch him like that. <laughs> and now, suddenly, we're on their 39-yard line. All right. Well, thank you for that hit, sir. It helps out quite a bit. And now we're on the right hash mark. We're going to go for the mesh here, which is going to be Mr. Flash Gordon on that corner. And unfortunately, Flash isn't going to be there, so we're going to have to go underneath Davion. Davion is a scrapper. You would think, I mean, he's a big guy being 6'5". For a second there, I thought he was 6'4". I think he's 6'5", 200-something um, pounds. He's a big guy, but you would think, you know, he wouldn't be that, he wouldn't be that big of a scrapper in the, going across the field. Typically, when you think of those guys that go for slant routes or drag routes or whatever, it is... Like your Wes Welkers, your your Freddie Mitchells, like your Julian Edelman's, your little tiny guys, basically, that, uh, you know, don't get hurt as much. Oh, oh, we had a little bit of Xbox lag right there. I'm sure it's going to pick up on the recording, but we end up getting the first anyway. We're driving. Third string running back. Or no, we are driving down and scoring here today. We're going to look for a mesh. Ooh, Cooper Cup is in there. I think Coop's actually a little bit faster than Josh, but hey, Josh is actually there on the right side of the field. And going underneath to Josh. There we go. 
Unfortunately, Koopa wasn't in a great uh, position to really block anything. Okay, you're talking about unnecessary roughness. He basically rode him like a horse five yards out, out of bounds there. Come on, man. Wide receiver lives matter as well. You can't just have special rules for Deshaun Kaiser, even though legitimately that's the thing in the NFL. There are special rules pretty much for uh, quarterbacks. There we go. There's the... Oh, there he is. His first play is a Cleveland Brown. Trey Williams right up the middle. <laughs> A nice 16-yard scamper, pretty much untouched. That's why I, I, I'm telling you, fast running backs. If you're playing on all Madden, I feel like power running backs just aren't needed. It's all about the fast ones. All right. So defense, uh, I did what I can. I did what I could to get us back in this game. I'm gonna need you guys to hold, and maybe get us the ball back, or, or let them drive down and score again. That's okay too. Who would have thought of all teams that Marcus Mariota and his Titans will be driving down on us the way they are? All right. All right. We're going underneath the running back. Actually, yeah, it's my fullback there, Harkey. He was the only person really open there. Okay. Um, we can go for a counter here, I think. The important thing here, I think, is to not... Um, to not panic and start just slinging the ball left, right, and center, you know? I think the thing we really need to do is just play our game, drive down, and put up points every drive that we can. And we've had some bad luck with them scoring on every drive they've had the ball so far. Uh, the fumble, obviously, was a big stroke of bad luck, but... And wide open! Catch that, buddy. There you go. All right, good job, Olsen. Good job, my man. All right, so we're going to do a hurry up here. I'm just going to go for a slant. I, I really don't think we can go for play action right now. I feel like they're going to get through. Oh, yeah, they backed up. They think we're going deep. Joke. Oh, th no way he caught that. I thought that was going to be intercepted. I didn't think that was going to be caught. At the very at the very least, I thought it was just going to be like an incomplete pass. Ooh, Z-spot. I like the Z-spot here. Keep an eye on that clock. We're getting closer and closer to the two-minute warning. Uh, Davion can be running a little crossing route there. Dun, 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 dun. That's Davion. Good catch, buddy. He just laid out for it. He's like, I don't care about getting any more yards. I just want these yards. All right, let's go for a halfback dive here. Is it still Darius Jackson in? It feels so weird having our third string running backs in. All right, so it's Darius. Oh, Darius is tired. Okay, get this one run in. Then we'll be good. Just don't fumble it. All right, there's two-minute warning. We have our three timeouts to work with. If we can put up points here in this drive, man, it's... We're here. We're in this game. All right, gonna go for the screen. Darius is back in. He better not still be tired. Okay, he isn't. Let's hope the screens work as well this week as it did last week. It looks like they're gonna. All right, good blocks. Good block, guys. Uh, you see me like intentionally like trying to slow myself down there, so my uh, so my line is time to get up there and block for me. All right, we're gonna go for that dive again. All right before the guy is even ready. Haha, -ha, not even ready. Oh, unfortunately, he didn't really have a ton of great blocking there. We have we have timeouts, but I want to I want to like catch on me now. Like I feel like I feel like they're getting tired. All right, we got David and Joku on the corner. I think David and Joku's our our go-to guy here in this play. And there he is. Oh, good catch, stiff arm hit, buddy. Oh, he almost fell in. He almost fell in. Let's use one of our timeouts now. Let's get let's get let's get our guys uh, nice and rested, you know. Make sure everyone's uh, had a breather, and let's go for goal line. Strong toss. All right, who's in? Williams is in. Mr. Speed Meister himself, and there he is. His second carry is a Cleveland Brown, also a touchdown. <laughs> He has two carries for two touchdowns, man. He was uh, he was sitting at home on his couch all season. He hasn't been signed to any team. And then I signed him because I saw his speed. I saw he was from Texas a and I'm an A&M fanboy. And uh, <laughs> two carries, two touchdowns. Welcome to the team, buddy. Win or lose, I think he's on the. I think he's already secured his spot on the roster next season. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, defense, please come on. All right, they held, and we got the ball here with 29 seconds left. Okay, they're thinking we chew clock. I'm thinking we try and take a shot here. All right, I want, I want to have... Okay, we can't go for halfback sub out of that formation? All right, this formation. Okay, oddly enough, they're not allowing me to go for a halfback sub. 
I hate when I have to actually go and try and pick a play because things are usually so freaking convoluted. We're just going to take the flag instead of uh, wasting our final time out here. What? I don't know if you guys saw If you rewind, obviously you can. I was changing the scheme of the formation to be halfback sub, um, which should uh, put in my speedy running back. But, because I, I want to I throw to him out of the backfield, you know. But they didn't give me that. So, all right, let's see if we can try and hit Jaw. Ooh, bumping up on us, are they? You know what? Let's just send Corey deep here. Since I never throw the Corey on this play anyway, let's just send him deep and see what's going to happen. Oh, Corey had him beat and everything. Hold your blocks, guys. For crying out loud, he was wide open. Let's try the same play. Apparently, we need to have my running back pass blocking because my offensive line has decided they can't block in the playoffs for some reason. All right, send Corey deep again. I doubt he's going to be there again, but we'll see. And there we go. Good catch. And timeout. This may seem silly, but I think it's honestly fine. Um, I'm not going for Hail Mary. Here's a pro tip. Never go. There's going to be someone saying that Hail Mary works for them. Hail Mary has never worked for me, not even once. Um, in all my years playing Madden. So, what you do is call a, basically run a Hail Mary, but run out of a different formation, so you can kind of trick the AI in a way to thinking you're not just bombing the ball downfield. All right, then we have Williams there. So we have Olsen and Coleman both going deep, and we'll see. And he actually has not beat. He actually has not beat, but unfortunately... I overthrew him slightly, and whoever number 36 was, their free safety, he caught up to him. That was my first incompletion of the first half. I'm playing so well right now, but we had a fumble, which which Chris and Michael injured his toe on, and our defense is struggling. All right, I believe. We're still in this, you know? We're still in this. All right, let's just skip past this, and we're returning. Let's get back to it. All right, so we're kind of in control of our own destiny now because us getting the ball right now like this is kind of the same as our defense holding, you know? All right, so we got back to the 24. Might have been better just to take a touchback there. We would have saved ourselves one yard, but it's not that big of a deal, really. All right, come on. What do we do here, boys? What do we do here? We go for our halfback dives. That's what we do. We go right back to the well. We go to our halfback dives. I mean, uh, wow, we have 18 carries to only 11 passes. I think it's because we're having so much success on the ground, but I think... Uh, when, oh, there we go. Darius Jackson. I actually uh, truck-sticked right there for the second bit. Maybe I should try to air it out a little bit more, but after the last episode, I'm trying not to force throw everything, you know? I'm trying to only throw when we kind of have to. Wide open. There he is. You know, short passes, stuff like that. But I think one of the reasons why... Uh, we've had so much success this season. Is, is I'm actually, I've actually been taking those shots downfield when those shots are there to be taken, which right now it looks like Davion Olsen is going to be in a one-on-one -on -one downfield. So let's see. And he is. I, I even threw the ball. I just didn't have time because they got through so quickly. They are just getting through on us like you would not believe. Four, four birds. I mean, I'm noticing so far that it seems like our, our receivers are actually beating their defensive backs. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Coop! Cooper Cup! My man, good catch. All right, so they are, they are kind of leaving that deep ball open a little bit, huh? All right. So I don't think it's going to be here that way again. So we're going to call basically the same idea, but we're actually going to look to go underneath with it. Corey, let's just have you go deep, and we're looking for David Njoku. And that wide open David Njoku. He's going for the stiff arm. Oh, look at Dave go. All right. All right. Here we go. And now we're going to go a little bit back to the run game. We'll call a counter. Out of my, out of, I guess my second favorite formation, but as of recently, I've been running it all the time. All right, hold those blocks, boys. Hold those blocks. All right, that's not exactly what I call holding those blocks. Uh, I saw Davion out there um, panting, like he's he's a little tired. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and like let the play actually end. I, typically, I was gonna do like a hurry up right there, but I decided to let it go because they're gonna bring in some backup receivers now. I think. Nope, Davion's still in. Well, Davion looked like he was tired. I guess he wasn't so tired. I don't know. All right, that's Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon, get in the end zone again, buddy. Freaking Flash Gordon. I love that man. 
there was some talk a couple episodes ago after the regular season finale where we talked about um, A.J. Green, who all played all 16 games, but had like two touchdowns and 900 yards. Like He's not being utilized at all in Cincinnati here in my career because Andy Dalton's not very good. And I'm like, imagine if we could get A.J. Green to be our new slot receiver. But then I see plays like this, I'm thinking, how can we possibly get rid of Josh Gordon or demote him to being like a four-string receiver? It doesn't seem right. All right, pending the extra point kick, we've tied it up 21-21. Come on, defense. Uh, all right, they only got a field goal there. They only got a field goal. They stopped them from getting a touchdown. All right, so they are in zone coverage. The free safety's coming up. This looks like one of those times where they're not respecting that Corey Cohen deep ball. And wide open running back. We're just going to hit the wide open guy, get downfield. Oh, there we go. And let's do a hurry up here and go for a power row, honestly. I, I never really, okay, I was going to go for a power row, but I'm thinking with that safety bumped up the way he is, we're actually just going to throw it. I'll scramble. Some flashbacks to my Madden 16 series right there, just scrambling with the quarterback. All right. And also stopping the clock there helps out a little bit. Although this being Madden, this being Madden, we're just going to ignore the fact that he went out of bounds and in the third quarter anyway. All right, boys. Here we are. Fourth quarter. Down by three. Let's go for a double flares. Call one of our favorite plays. Ooh, all right. They're in zone. But they're playing back. Which means I want Corey running a drag. Is that called a drag? Either way. A Corey running that route there. And we're going to throw to the wide open fullback. Uh, the backfield. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, fight for yeah, fight for those yards. Fall forward. All right, let's go for a mesh. Nice mesh switch. Uh, look for Josh Gordon on that corner. Again, he's been there a couple times so far today. If not, Davion Olsen. And that's going to be Josh. That is wide open Josh Gordon. Don't get caught again, buddy. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to buy a Josh Gordon jersey. I, <laughs> I can't believe Josh Gordon, my man. And you know what that touchdown does, guys? Do you know what that touchdown does? We are up by four points right now. Four, which means field goal does not get them the lead. They have to score a touchdown, which our defense has stopped them from doing many drives in a row now. Come on, defense. If they score a touchdown here, that's going to really hurt. But, oh, they not only held them, but we got the ball here on our own 41-yard line, which is pretty freaking good field position. Let's do this, guys. We're heading to the Super Bowl. It's been too long. Actually, the Browns have never been to a Super Bowl. They've only won NFL championships, and that predated when they started calling it the Super Bowl. So let's get the Browns their first Super Bowl. Let's freaking go here. Oh, no, okay, okay. You have to, someone has to touch him. Someone has to touch him, right? All right, let's go go for a slant, try and pick those yards back up and get, get a third and short. They're blitzing for sure. And that's going to be wide open, Davion. There you go, buddy. He held on to it. Good job. Okay. Uh, 442. You know what? Actually. Actually, I know the play. I know the play. Uh, where's our, where's our money? Where's our money? There she is. And the, 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 the X dagger. Actually, our, our, our best, best play for a situation like this, I think is out of the two tight end set. This should work as well. David and Joku coming across and wide open. David and Joku. Good catch, buddy. There we freaking go. I'll tell you, you know how bad I did last week or last game in terms of, uh, in terms of completion percentage and everything, this week I've literally thrown one incompletion, and that was when I bombed it downfield on a downfield on a Hail Mary to end off the first half. Good blocks. Uh, okay, they were good blocks. They were. All right, so at the very least here, guys, at the very least, we're going to go David and Joku on that X dagger. If we can come out of here with a field goal, we will be up by seven, which will help out so much. I'm sending Olsen deep here. I, have a, I just have a feeling. I told you guys I had a feeling. Davion, that's all you, buddy. Oh, good D. Perfect defense. All right. Well, now, 
We're gonna go for a screen. Come on, show me a screen. There it is. Halfback slip screen. We could have actually gone for the could have gone for the mesh again. But oh we have Williams looking for his first catch. Off the screen. He's a fast guy. He's fast. Get those blocks. Good job. I tell you, every time we get this man the ball, he scores. Dive, buddy. Oh, I pressed the button to dive. He's like five foot six or five foot seven. Even if he would have dived, I don't think he would have actually made it. But that man has earned. <laughs> Trey Williams. I'm telling you. Every time I've given him the ball this game, he has made a play for us. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. What, what, what am I doing? Goal line. Strong toss. Come on. What are they doing? All right, they're definitely in the man again. We've got Jackson in the backfield. Here we go. There we freaking go. Ladies and gentlemen, you thought I was going to lose this game, didn't you? You saw me going down early. You saw we were down 14 to nothing. You saw we were down 21-7. You thought, wow, this is how Nero's season's going to end. Uh-uh. This season ain't over. Not by a long shot. If it's ending, it's ending in the Super Bowl. Win or lose, we're heading to that freaking Super Bowl. It's happening. There is no way it's not happening. We are up by 10 here in the fourth. Defense got a turnover. Got the ball here on the 30 freaking seven yard line. Third string running back in there. Fourth string running back scoring touchdowns. I freaking love this team. I love this team. I love this series. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was really hoping to truck stick him there. And it's game. I mean, game's over at this point. They have the two-minute warning that can help them, but this game's over. It's done. They got nothing else they can do, unless I fumble it. But even if I do, we're up by 11. I mean, they have to get the ball, score a touchdown, get an onside kick, score another touchdown. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Let this be a lesson to you. One, never doubt Coach Joseph Nero. Number two, you're never out of it. Just play your game, put up points. You can do it. You're always in control of your own destiny. We're going to a two-minute morning. There's no sense in me. Let me call this play it right now. There's Ogma. There's Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden's got to be excited. After all these seasons playing for the Browns, Joe Hayden is heading to the Super Bowl. Along with Joe Thomas. I mean, Joe Thomas, I mean, he's been around forever. He deserves it more than anybody in the league, I'd say. I mean, honestly, do you think there's anybody in the NFL that, des that deserves a Super Bowl more than Joe Thomas? being the best lineman in the league for over a decade playing for the Browns. Oh, good blocks. And now they're going to start calling their timeouts. It doesn't matter. All we have to do, we can kneel pretty much and win this game. But we're just going to keep on running. And the reason why is I'm trying to get Darius Jackson's confidence up. The more he plays and the better he does, uh, the higher his confidence will go. And be my third string uh, running back, even though my team had a really good regular season going 14-2 and, and making it to the playoffs here and everything, his confidence as an individual player is actually pretty low. So, the only way to get that up is to feed him the ball. Am I crazy for calling a pass play right here? I'm calling it because I think we're getting a first down with it. I think it's our best play to get a first down. They're blitzing that safety. Oh, 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 really good defense there from that linebacker. All right, no trouble. We'll just boot that field goal, and then, just for funsies, we're going to watch the defense. All right, Zane, best kicker in the NFL. Bam, automatic, supersonic. Can't believe we put up 38 points. After watching the last episode, it's night and day different. Like, you wouldn't think it's actually the same football team. All right, so... Uh, right here, we go to more options, change speed to slow, custom play options, play all offense. And now, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, grab a cold one. I have Coke, a cola, not cocaine. And let's watch this defense. Let's watch Dr. Nero's Defense of Doom take on Marcus Mariota and likely his final drive of the season. And every time I do this, never show me weekly game boost. Like, I don't know why they even show it. Let's watch this defense. Stanley Schmidt, can we get some sacks out of you? That'd be great. Miles Garrett, you too. Doesn't matter which one. Just somebody. Wait a minute. Number 90. 
That's Ogba. I think Miles Garrett got hurt. That's bad. I think Miles Garrett's hurt. That or he's tired. But yeah, Miles isn't on the field right now. He should be the right defensive end over there. Tyler Worthy with the tackle. And they keep doing a hurry up so we can't see if he was maybe just tired or something. Yeah, I think Miles Garrett's hurt. Ogba's in, and Ogba's his backup. I set that up very specifically. Because Ogba actually did pretty good for us last season. All right, get it. Get it, Stanley. There you go. Big stand. Stand the man Schmidt. Taking him down the backfield. His second sack, his seventh tackle of the game. First overall draft pick. I'm sorry, I get excited when people I draft do well. <laughs> How about another one? How about one for the road? Oh, he got close. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Buster screen there at the tackle. Right at the 30 here. All right, they got 47 seconds. They're not going to win this game. They're, 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 they're down by 14. They have one timeout left with 40 seconds. Like, come on, let's get another sack. Let's get, aw. Oh. Ooh. Look, I, like this, I like the little sun rays coming down right there. It looked good. Come on, guys. Fumble, interception, anything like that. Okay, so now they finally have stopped the clock. Now we can see if Miles Garrett's coming in. Actually, I can pause it. Oh, nope. Resume game. Okay, so I'm just watching. So until the end of their drive, I can't actually pause anything. So, and I actually don't think, based on like how this game works, I don't think I'm going to get the ball back or anything. So I don't think I'm actually going to be able to show you guys in this game anyway if Miles Garrett is injured. We're going to have to wait till the next episode for the Super Bowl. But the bright side about the Super Bowl, there's a gap, like a couple, like a week or two gap between the championship and when the Super Bowl actually happens. Maybe three weeks, I don't remember. But uh, so there's there's time for him to get better if it's a short term injury. All right, get him, Buster. All right, good job, Buster. Way to fall on him, man. I mean, they're definitely driving down on us, but they're they're taking their time. They they need big chunks of yardage, you know. I think they're just trying to soak in, soak it in. Oh, sack, sack. Nope, oh, he's going. Oh, in the end zone. That was caught. Am I crazy or did it look like he only had one foot in? I think he only had one foot in. A little disappointed my defense let that up. Let's see it again. And no. Actually, yeah, I think he tiptoed that. Oh, yeah, he definitely tiptoed that. I mean, good pass protection. Or, yeah, good pass protection. Good, uh, good. Oh, they're doing a booth review. Good scramble. Good throw. And really good catch. I think that was a touchdown. I don't know why they're reviewing it. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Unless they're unless they're maybe looking to do uh, possession, but you never have to argue if they have possession of the ball in Madden. That's not a mechanic. So Corey Coleman there on the sidelines. Well, I'd say it's a pretty I'd say it's a pretty yeah, they they upheld it. I think that's actually a pretty good way for them to end off their season. Driving down, scoring a touchdown. I mean, ultimately, they're going to lose. Unless they get this onside kick. It's possible they get this onside kick right now and hit a Hail Mary. Let's see. And there we go. Davion Olsen recovering the onside kick. <laughs> My man. My man. All right. And now we'll play the moment. Which is going to be a quarterback kneel, by the way. We're going to go out there. We're going to kneel in front of all those wonderful people. But before we do that, That's rough. That is very, very rough. Miles Garrett fractured his elbow and will not be there for the Super Bowl. Kristen Michael will probably be back next game with his turf toe. But uh, Miles won't be. He'll be there on the sidelines. He'll be there in spirit. He'll be cheering us on. And Emmanuel Ogba, who actually did really good last season, is going to be starring for us in the Super Bowl at defensive end alongside Stan the Man Schmidt. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Let's go out there one final time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cleveland Browns here at home in front of all of their fans about to come out here, take a knee, and go to the Super Bowl. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Wait for it. Come on. Come on. What's this? What's this? Why is the clock? There we go. Come on. Ruined my moment here. There it is. Basking it. 
Baz can take a deep breath. It's real. It's happening. The Cleveland Browns have defeated the Tennessee Titans here in the AFC Championship. They are going to the Super Bowl. And honestly, I have been so focused this entire game, I haven't even looked at the bottom ticker to see who we're facing. <laughs> I'm sure the bottom ticker showed the winner of the NFC Championship game, right? 38-31. I should not have to work that hard to win. <laughs> we have a 95 overall offense. Oh, man. <gasps> Trey Williams. I, I couldn't have signed a better running back. I really couldn't have. My man, Trey Williams. Why don't you start him next week? Josh Gordon, of course. Again, Josh freaking Gordon. Those plays. That was a good touchdown catch right there by him, but... Josh Gordon. I can't... Words don't can't describe how valuable he has been here in the postseason. He has done so ridiculously well for us. It is... I, I don't know what to say. It's incredible. Look at that, man. We just won a game where Marcus Mariota completed 80% of his passes. Marcus Mariota went 20 of 25 for 236 and four touchdowns, and his team lost because I played my game. 20 of 23, 301, two touchdowns, and then running the freaking football. I'll check out their stats here in a moment. We ran for three touchdowns, two carries, two touchdowns for Trey Williams. Darius Jackson, he only had 3.1 yards a carry, but you know what? He ran... Uh, he, did, he did what he needed to do to get by. I mean, he's a third string running back suddenly just coming here and starting for us. But check out the Titans here, man. So Mariota had that incredible game passing. 20, 25, 2, 3, 6, 4 touchdowns. And then DeMarco Murray had 23 carries for a buck 21. And they couldn't win because their defense could not contain us. I would be quite salty if I were on that Titans team. Like, imagine if I... Had all those stats, and I lost 31 to 38. I'd be pretty salty that my defense couldn't help me. But at the same time, yeah, I, they did everything they could, right? I, w I wouldn't be that mad if we lost this game if I were the Titans. Because ultimately, I don't control the defense. The AI does. And, you know, if I'm putting up 31 points, doing as well as they were doing, and we still couldn't win, not much more you can really expect of somebody, right? Now, let's check out the receiving here. Josh Gordon, four for 107, two touchdowns. Um, wow, yeah, Corey Coleman's been pretty quiet here in the postseason, but I think it's because I'm playing so conservatively that I'm, not, I'm afraid to, like, hit that Corey Coleman deep ball. Trey Williams with that 35-yard catch, um, almost getting a touchdown. He had, th he had three touches today, two of which were a touchdown, and this one was two yards away from being a touchdown. <laughs> that would have been insane. Cooper Cup coming in, Darius Jackson, Harkey actually getting two catches here today. David Njoku coming up big when we need him to. And then Davion Olsen. He's like, I mean, like a rock. He's getting him the ball. He won't drop it. Defensively, Stanley Schmidt, another game, another two sacks. Seems like he's getting two sacks every single game. Tyler Worthy, 10 tackles and that one interception that Mariota threw. Uh, we had one pass deflection there from Jabril Peppers. No forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries. I'm really upset that Miles Garrett got hurt. He got hurt on like a nothing play too because he didn't even end up getting a tackle. That's unfortunate. Got Kirksey there. Another week in the books, boys. And now, we're heading to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and as I said in the last episode, win or lose in the Super Bowl, I want to thank you guys so much for being part of the series. It has been so much fun rebuilding the Browns. And um, I'm excited. I really am. Uh, it's either Falcons or Seahawks. I'm sure if I go back and watch the footage of this game, it's going to... The little ticker at the bottom will say what happened in the NFC Championship. I was so focused the whole match, I didn't even look down there. I didn't even notice. So I'm facing either the Falcons or the Seahawks. We beat the Falcons this season already. I'm just saying. Um, Seahawks, I don't think we played. So we'll have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here today. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you guys all enjoy. Drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.